Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark Arm Duelist and Tegany doing some Crusadia test hands. So without further ado guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell there so you can come part of the notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Like getting your name description in a single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So this deck is an amazing going second build of Crusadia, but this build can go first and establish some pretty cool fields. But this deck is primarily an OTK deck that you're going to use your Kaijus to be able to tribute over your opponent's monsters to OTK them with your copy of Max, which is a crazy powerful boss monster. It basically just gets really big and can OTK extremely easily. But this deck can go first, establishing cards like Baguska or your copy of Max max to have a walking the gate or to shut down the field with baguska which is really cool but you guys know that it's dad rule number one that we have to pile shuffle the deck or you run the risk of bricking so we're going to go ahead and pile shuffle up the deck and then we're going to go ahead and give the deck a quick shuffle and see what we can do for our first test hand if you guys would like to check out the deck profile as always it is down in the description down below for every test hand video so Let's go ahead and shuffle it up and see what we can do for our first test hand. And we'll do some going first test hands and we'll do some going second test hands just to show you guys how to OTK with this build. So let's go ahead and see what we can do for our first test hand. So we're going to go ahead and draw into a copy of Arborea, a copy of Pot of Desires, a copy of Lightning Storm, Pot of Desires, and another copy of Arborea. So this is okay as long as we draw into a copy of a Crusadia card with our copy of Pot of Desires, because any two Crusadia cards basically means you're going to summon out Equal Max, which is really good. So at this point, let's go ahead and just activate our copy of Pot of Desires to be able to banish Tim. Now, the really cool thing about this deck is you're basically playing three of everything in this build that you're going to need. And anything that you banish off of Pot of Desires doesn't super matter as long as we don't hit all of our spells that are one ofs in the deck. But it's totally fine if you do because you still have your copy of Equal Max. So we're going to go ahead and draw two. Then we're going to check and see what we actually banish, which we're going to hit a copy of Parallel Z, which is really good for this going first hand so let's go ahead and check and see what we hit as long as we didn't hit both copies of parallel z we're totally fine see this is okay because we did hit two copies of maximus but everything that we hit we play as a three of in the deck besides feather duster and power so it's totally fine what we banished so at this point, what we're going to do is some very simple plays. We're going to normal summon out our copy of Arborea to our side of the field and link it away for the Crusadia Link 1, which is really important to go ahead and make this card because now at this point, we have the copy of Parallel Z that we're going to special summon out to our side of the field. And both of these cards will go off, letting us add a Crusadia monster from our deck to our hand since a monster was special summoned to a zone it points to. And your copy of Parallel Z will go off to be able to special summon a copy of Parallel Z to your side of the field. They'll both become level 4 and they'll both have a thousand and attack and defense points which is pretty good because it gets you two level fours to make bagus go with so we're gonna go ahead and special summon it out to our side of the field then our copy of our link one magius will go off and add from your deck to your hand a copy of our let's go ahead and grab draco draco is probably the best option here because it's going to get us our copy of arborea back out of the graveyard you can also if you want to instead of grabbing this you could grab a copy of your maximus because you only have one left in the deck to give you double damage during the follow-up turn so let's go ahead and shuffle up the deck and then make a copy of baguska Baguska is a really good option here because if you go ahead and make the copy of Baguska, you can basically just make it way down here out of the way so that you can continue your plays down here with your Crusadia stuff. So we're just going to make Baguska at a far off zone away from our Ling summons to be able to basically just let our opponent go and wait them out a little bit. So at this point, we're going to pass over to the opponent. And even if they board wipe us, we still have our copy of Lightning Storm that we can go back with, which is really amazing. So at this point, we're just going to pass over to the opponent, then detach them material from our Baguska and it's going to come back over to us. They're probably not going to do all that much against us but we're going to go ahead and draw for turn. We're going to draw to another copy of Lightning Storm. As you guys can see this is a very going second heavy build with a copy of the Lightning Storms and the Kaiju in our hand because we destroy the board and have a Kaiju as well which is really cool. So at this point what we're going to do 
is we're going to switch our copy of Baguska to attack position so not everything's getting shifted into defense position. It just makes it while it's in attack position that it basically has the ability that if this card, um, this attack position card cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects, which is a pretty cool ability that basically just protects itself while it's in attack position. It doesn't shift everything in defense position so we can turn off our opponent's turn, but we get to play when it comes back to us so we can OTK. So at this point, what you're probably going to do is give your opponent a kaiju above this zone. So we're just going to put the kaiju here to represent that we're giving the kaiju to the opponent to make sure that they have a monster that's safe that our copy of Equal Max will point to with this upward arrow which is really, really important. You can save it if you want to, to see if you can get a bigger kaiju with your copy of Pot of Desires in just a second. And we can actually just go ahead and activate Pot of Desires if we want to, or just continue our plays. Now the copy of Magius is live again because this is turn three now. So we can just go ahead and special summon out the copy of Arborea to be able to get an additional search, which is gonna get us a search of a Crusadia monster. I'm actually gonna search out a copy of Draco from my deck to my hand so that I can get some follow up plays by recovering back Arborea from the graveyard or recovering our copy of Magius or uh, Magnus from the graveyard. So we're going to go ahead and at this point go ahead and link these two away and once you do we're going to make our copy of Regulex. Regulex is really good to be able to make here because you're basically climbing all the way from one to three into your copy of Equal Max. So at this point, we can go ahead and special summon out Draco to our side of the field. So we can now, at this point, recover back our copy of our Arborea from our graveyard back to our hand, but we've already special summoned this card out this turn, so you cannot special summon it again because they're all once per turn, which is a little bit of a downside, but it's totally fine to be able to just summon out this card um, one time because we do have the copy of Pot of Desires to be able to generate more cards. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and use the ability as well as the Regulax to be able to search from our deck to our hand, which is why I held the copy of Potted Desires, to search out a copy of the Crusadia Field Spell so we can get multiple attacks. Because all Crusadia Link Monsters gain 500 attack points, and once per turn, you can target a Crusadia Link Monster control, and this turn, even if this card leaves the field, it can attack all monsters that your opponent controls once each, which is a really good ability. So at this point, what we're going to do is link these two monsters away to special summon out our copy of Equal Max. Equal Max is insane and a definite one of you want to summon to your side of the field. And at this point, we're just going to drop our copy of Pot of Desires, banishing 10 again from the deck to be able to draw two. It's very rare that you draw into both copies of Desires, but I'm just showing you guys that it doesn't matter about activating Desires in this build because you're basically just looking to dig into the deck. So at this point, we're going to draw into another copy of Arborea and a copy of triple tactical talents which is just insane that we have this much advantage so at this point we're going to go ahead and give the kaiju to the opponent at the arrow that the copy of equal max is going to point to and then we're going to special summon out our copy of maximus maximus is really good to be able to summon to your side of the field because this card actually gives your copy of equal max double damage which is insane because it has the ability that once per turn you can target a crusadia link monster this card on your side of the field and if it battles an opponent's monster it inflicts double damage to your opponent which is really, really good. So we're going to go ahead and summon out our copy of Maximus, activate Revive, uh, Revival, the Field Spell. And at this point, we have the Kaiju that this card is pointing to, which is going to boost it up by 20 200 boosting this card to 4200 the field spell will boost it up by additional 500 boosting it up to 47 and then your copy of maximus will boost it up by an additional 16 which is really insane that it'll boost it up by the additional 16 boosting it all the way up to about 6300 if my math is correct you can then swing into the copy of the kaiju and whatever other monster they have on their side of the field with this field which is really really good because this is actually going to be usually game to be able to just in the game with your copy of Maximus and whatever kaiju that they have on the field. You're going to do double damage against the kaiju, and then you can just swing into whatever monsters that they have on the field. If any of them are in attack position, which they probably wouldn't be with Baguska, regardless, you're going to board wipe the field. And if you didn't end the game, since we do have a monster that was special summoned from the extract, you can actually go in for a really cool play. There's a really good defensive play that you can actually go for during the follow-up for the rest of the turn, because what you can do is go ahead and link both of these away and then summon out a copy of IP Mascarena. IP is really good to be able to summon here because just in case you want to basically make it so that your opponent can't deal with you, you're going to link both of those cards away to summon out a copy of Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax. And Avermax is basically like the... Uh, 
final play that you make to be able to protect yourself if you cannot OTK. This is very important to be able to make if you cannot OTK your opponent, but if you can OTK, then you don't worry about it and you just go in for the OTK. So let's go in for the another test hand and just see what we can do for the next test hand. And just to show you guys that other 10 cards that we were banishing didn't matter at all because it's just duplicates of cards that we already had or we already had access to. And we, as long as we have like Crusadia cards or cards that we can special summon like Parallel Z, we're totally fine because the deck just functions off of having additional monsters on our side of the field. And it's super easy just to basically just OTK with the monsters that you have. So let's go ahead and shuffle up the deck again and see what we can do for the next test hand. And regardless, this deck just makes really big monsters and just OTK. So let's go ahead and shuffle it up again and let's do a going second test hand just to show you guys what this deck can do going second, OTKing the opponent. So we're actually going to draw six cards this time and show you guys exactly what you can do with this deck. As long as you open up two Crusadia monsters, you're usually fine because you can search out the copy of Draco anyways. So we're going to draw into a copy of Ash Blossom, a copy of the Thunder King Kaiju. That's actually really good to be able to draw into. A copy of Maximus, Leonis, and a copy of Leonis. This is actually pretty good. And if we draw one more card, we're going to draw into a copy of Arborea. So we have three unique names in our hand and a Kaiju that we can actually give to the opponent. So right off the bat, we're going to go ahead and give the Kaiju to the opponent wherever we're going to make the copy of Equimax, because you want to make sure that it looks like this. You want to make sure that basically when you finish your board, this is what it needs to look like with two Crusadia monsters, pointing downward with your copy of Equimax and your copy of your Kaiju pointing to your copy of Equimax because this card gains attack points equally attack points of every single monster it points to and that's kind of what the final board should look like especially with the copy of Leonis doing double or, um, or the copy of Maximus doing uh, double damage and this does uh, piercing damage so you can actually get double piercing damage with this card and this is actually usually the biggest you can make this card especially if you add the field spell into it this card just gets really big and you just swing like one time and win um which is insane so let's go ahead and play this hand out and show you guys exactly what you do with this particular hand so you're probably going to ash blossom your opponent during their turn which is going to probably put them in a weaker state than they usually would be with a full combo but at this point, we're going to kaiju you over whatever they have on the field that's in a gate, and it's going to be above this zone. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to normal summon out our copy of, say, you can normal summon out any of them you want, but I'm going to just normal summon out the copy of Arborea because we can always special summon these two later, and we can basically do the entire combo without summoning these cards because we're just going to use this and Draco until we get to the point that we're going to summon out our maxima or equal max. So we're going to link this card away, and once we do, we're going to summon out our copy of Magius. Magius is really good to be able to summon to your side of the field. Actually, we can do this in reverse. We're going to go ahead and normal summon it out like this. We're going to normal summon out Maximus. Maximus is going to go to the graveyard, summon out our copy of our Link 1, special summon out the copy of Arborea to be able to search, so we can special summon this card back later. We're going to get a search of a monster off of this card's ability, so we're going to search out the copy of Draco from our deck to our hand, link these two away, summon out our copy of our Regulex to our side of the field, not access code. We're going to summon out Regulex to our side of the field, which is right here. Once we do, we're then going to special summon out Draco. Draco is going to recover back the copy of Maximus from the graveyard, and your copy of Regulex is going to go off to be able to add from your deck to your hand a spell or a trap, or a spell card, which we only play spell cards in this build anyway. So we're going to add our copy of Revival so we can attack every monster with double piercing damage. Then we're going to go ahead and link these two away to summon out Equal Max. Then we just activate the field spell, and then we special summon out both of these to our side of the field, because we normal summon this card originally, so we can still special summon it, and the copy of the Leonis will be special summoned over here. This will give it piercing, this will give it double damage, so we get double piercing damage with an additional 500 boost. This makes it so it can attack every monster on the field, and that's how you basically get the OTK, and it should look like this. It should be this card in the middle pointing to this on your opponent's field and both of these and these monster zones with this in the extra monster zone giving it that boost. So let's go ahead and take a look and add all of these attack points together. With these two, it's 2,800 together. And that'll actually mix with this to be able to be 33, which 33 plus 28 would be about 31, would be about 6,100, I believe. Plus this would be about uh, 500 more, so it'd be 67 plus this would be at 87 with double piercing damage. 
Um, so you can basically just go together with this and just swing here, use the ability so it can attack everything. These two have to target it to be able to use their ability to give it piercing and double piercing. And then we go swing, swing, swing into everything and we win the game. So that's basically how it works with this card. This card is also a walking negate because it has the ability at once per turn, a quick effect, you can true to Crusadia or a world legacy monster this card points to, target a face up card your opponent controls and negate its effects until the end of the turn. So you can use that as a quick effect, which is really good to be able to do so that you can OTK and basically just go in for the rest of the game and basically end out the game, which is amazing. Usually you're going to swing into the Kaiju to do double damage into the Kaiju, which is really good to give you a safe target. And then whatever else your opponent has on the field, you just swing into those monsters and win the game, which is really easy to be able to do with this card. As you can, guys can see, it's super consistent with being able to make your copy of Equal Max. And again, you can do the follow-up play of making the copy of Avermax on the main two. You just have to have a monster that was special summoned from the extract to be able to make him, which is easy. Like we have so many ways that we can make it, especially with cards like IP, because you just make IP and then your copy of um, Avermax can't be targeted and it cannot be destroyed by card effects, which is just insane. Plus, if a monster special summoned from the extract battles it, then it just gains attack points, which is really insane. So this card is like really tough to deal with. And if they do out it, you can just shovel a card from the field back in the deck. So whatever destroyed it, you basically just are going to use that ability. If this card battles any special summon monster, just not from the, like it can be from the extract or just special summon for any reason, it gains those attack points, which is really good. So they're probably going to OTK themselves with, with Avermax, which is hilarious. So let's go ahead and shuffle it up. I think we actually mixed in. No, we didn't. It just looked like we did um, one of the cards from the extract. So let's go ahead and shuffle it up and do one more test and just to see what we can do for another one and see what we can pull off with this deck because this deck is really fun to be able to play with and we're actually going to do a going first test hand and see if we can follow up with the otk so let's go ahead and shuffle it up and see what we can do so we're gonna go ahead and cut the deck and draw for our five so we're gonna draw to a copy of revival harpy's feather duster a copy of draco that's pretty good another copy of draco and a copy of Lightning Storm. So this is actually not the craziest hand, but it is pretty decent. Um, this card does have the ability that it can recover um, any, except for itself, which is a little bit of a downside. If we were going second, just to show you guys, this is a really good going second hand because you could destroy all the back row and then all the monsters. And if we get any more Crusadia names, that is not going to get you there. <laughs> that is a double or nothing. Uh, so what we're going to do is basically just do it like this. What we're going to do is we're going to normal summon out the copy of the Draco to our side of the field, link it away for our link one. And then once we do, we can then special summon out the copy of Draco with no effect. The copy of Magius will go off so we can shuffle that double or nothing back into the deck so we don't draw it. Um, and we're going to go ahead and add from our deck to our hand a Crusadia monster, which we're going to add a copy of Maximus. We're just going to go ahead and get that card out of the way. You can grab Arborea if you want to, just to give you some protection. All three of those are right there. Um, that always happens in every test hand. I always have one card that sticks together. I have noticed that. It just happens. But we're going to go ahead and instead grab Arborea because Arborea is a little bit better of an option because it has the ability that if a Crusadia monster control would be destroyed by Battle of our card effect, you can banish card from the field or grave instead just to give you a little bit of follow-up play to protect your plays or make it a little harder for your opponent to OTK. So what we're going to do is go ahead and link these two away and summon out to our side of the field our copy of our Regulex, special summoning out our copy of Arborea. Then the effect of both of these will go off and add a Crusadia spell from our deck to our hand, which I'm actually going to add from my deck to my hand a copy of, where is it? The copy of Power. Power is pretty good to be able to add here because it's going to give you a little bit more bonus. This is actually sitting at 1800 attack because of the Arborea. But at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to use these two monsters together to be able to make a copy of Equal Max. You can go ahead and make the Equal Max if you want to, or you can make something like a copy of like an IP if you wanted to do that instead and climb into like IP instead of going for the Regulax. Um, if you wanted to, to set up for a unicorn play, but I usually just like going with the Crusadia plays because it's just really good. So let's go ahead and make Equal Max right here. And then once we do that, we're going to activate Revival to boost him up by 500, set this card to our side of the field and pass over to the opponent. We can protect our copy of our Equal Max twice because this is going to make it where he cannot be affected by card effects. I'm going to guarantee he's not going to be destroyed by battle, 
at least one time, which is really good. This card actually is a target Crusadia monster we control, and that Crusadia monster is unaffected by card effects this turn except its own. So this card can protect the copy of Equimax, which is really nice. So we're going to go ahead and draw for our next card, and it's going to be a copy of Ash Blossom, which is not great, but we can still play. We can go ahead and activate Harpy's Feather Duster, destroy our opponent's back row, and then we can, if we want to, you could normal summon the Ash, but it's not going to really help that much. So, at this point, you can go 2,500 into everything because of the field spell, but that's going to be about all you can do with this particular hand. Again, going second, that would have been insane because you would have had the double or nothing in hand, which wouldn't have really mattered, but you can actually go for Utopia Double in this deck really easily, so you can OTK that much faster, which is really, really nice. But this deck does go a lot better going second. Just to show you guys, I'll draw one more test hand just to show you guys exactly what this deck can do going second. With so many kaijus in this build, like it's so important that you go second, but usually you're going to end up going second anyways, because if you lose the die roll, your opponent's going to want to go first. And if you win the die roll, you just pick to go second. So it's really easy to make sure you're going to go second with the deck to be able to OTK. So let's go ahead and shuffle it up and see what we can do for one more test hand and see if we can pull off something crazy. And this is going to be a going second hand. So let's go ahead and shuffle it up. So we're going to go ahead and cut the deck, and then we're going to go ahead and draw. So we're going to draw into a copy of Triple Tactical Talents, Draco, a copy of Leonis. We already have basically the full combo with just these two cards, another copy of Draco, and a copy of Maximus. So this is actually really good right off the bat, and if we are going second, we're going to draw into a Kaiju, which is amazing. This is a really good hand. So what we're going to do right off the bat is normal summon out our copy of Maximus, because we want to recover it back with our copy of Draco. So we're going to normal summon it out link it away, summon out your copy of Magius. You can summon out the copy of your afraid of like buy steals and stuff. You can summon out the copy of Leonis if you want to instead. You can change these out and summon out this instead of this if you want to because they cannot buy steal this instead. But I like to just normal summon out the copy of Maximus because I haven't like encountered a lot of that right now. Um, but like it's really good. So we're going to go ahead and then use the ability of our uh, Draco to special summon and then use chain link one two. add this card back and then we're going to use the copy of Magius to be able to search out a Crusadia monster which is really good to be able to get the exact one that you want especially if you want to pop something on the field you can also give their opponent the kaiju first if you want to give them the kaiju first uh, before you do anything because this is going to make sure that you have a safe target and you can out and negate like a Baron or something like that or a boar load savage dragon something crazy this card can out it um, which is really nice so at this point, we're going to use the effect of our copy of Magius to be able to search out a monster from our deck to our hand, which we're just going to grab something like a copy of Arborea to our hand so we can special summon it out to the field. Then we're going to go ahead and link these two away, summon out the copy of Regulex, special summon out Arborea to give us a little bit of protection. Effect of Regulex is going to go off to be able to add the copy of the field spell from decked hand so we can attack everything with double piercing damage. And then we're going to go ahead and link these two away to summon out our copy of Equimax. And then once we do, we can special summon out both of these to our side of the field to zones it points to and the copy of Equimax can then go in for game especially with the copy of the field spell activated because we're going to go up by 3,000 pushing this card to 5,000 and then both of these are 2,800 so it's going to go up to 7,800 plus uh, an additional 500 on top with the field spell pushing it to 83 with double piercing so 83 with double damage this is going to swing into this one card with 83 and we're going to do double damage off of that so initially it would just be like 5,300 but doubling it it would be 10,600 so we just swing one time into this and we win the game which is funny uh, plus we have the copy of triple tactical talents that if our opponent did try to hand trap us in any point we can look at our opponent's hand and then rip a card out of it if we want to because we had basically full combo we didn't even need this we didn't need the search of the copy of the arborea we basically just had it already it didn't matter um, because as long as you can special summon both of these and swing this is the best possible field you can make uh, with this build is being able to get revival maximus leonis and the copy of equimax this is the otk with a kaiju on the opponent's field this is the best way to do it and this is the way i like to play crusadia so that's it for this one guys i hope you did enjoy it this deck is super fun to be able to play if you guys have never played crusadia before definitely check out the deck profile down in the description down below as for every test hand guys always check the description for the deck profile because i include them in every single one of the test hand videos if you guys would like to see the deck profile you 
used for this video. But this deck is super fun. If you guys have never played Crusadia before, you should definitely give this deck a try. It's a fairly budget deck, which is really nice. And I really love playing this build because it's just really easy to OTK. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell in there so you can come part of the notification squad. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.